You are listening to KLRN Radio, where liberty and reason still reign. All writers are prone to becoming so attached to our characters and stories that we struggle to see why a passage may not be working. It takes another set of eyes to help us nurture our writing to full maturity. At Black Wolf Editorial Services, we strive to enable writers to develop and grow, shaping stories into masterpieces that can stand the test of time. Editing services are provided for all genres and all age categories. Services range from critiques of the short story through to the line edits of the full-length novel and copy editing for those preparing for publication. We also offer assistance on generating a writer's file for your website, as well as help with those book blurbs and promotional material. We won't abandon you to the masses. We want to celebrate with you and your successes. Black Wolf Editorial Services. Nurturing your writing into maturity. For a full list of services and prices, visit us at blackwolfeditorial.com. Individuals and businesses with tax problems, listen carefully. Do you feel like you're losing control over your finances? If you owe over $10,000 in back taxes or have unfiled tax returns, we can help you take back control. The IRS is the largest and most aggressive collection agency in the world, and they can seize your bank account, garnish your paycheck, close your business, and file criminal charges. Take control of your tax problems now by calling the experts at Tax Mediation Services and take advantage of the Fresh Start program and new laws that may May allow us to negotiate a settlement for the lowest amount possible. Our team of tax attorneys and enrolled agents can stop collections and get you protected so you can take control of your financial future. Tax Mediation Services is accredited by the Better Business Bureau. Call now for a free case review and a price protection guaranteed quote. Call Tax Mediation Services now at 800-610-9050. That's 800-610-9050. 800-610-9050. KLRN Radio has advertising rates available. We have rates to fit almost any budget. Contact us at advertising at klrnradio.com. This is Slickery Trigger for Rebel Road Tactical. With proper care and feeding, your pistol will be ready when you need it. There to save your life. Shouldn't your gear be that good? Whether you need a holster for comfortable, everyday carry, or a tough-as-nails holster for your next training course, Rebel Road Tactical has what you need. Check us out on the web at rebelroadtactical.com. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-516-7602 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-516-7602 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-516-7602. That's 1-800-516-7602. Again, 1-800-516-7602. From the East Coast to the West Coast and around the world on the Internet, we're coming to you live from the CCRS Studios, WNJC 1360. This is the Conservative Commandos Radio Show with your host, Rick Trader. The Conservative Commandos Radio Show. Where the newsmakers go to be heard. You can call the Conservative Commandos Radio Show at 856 227 1360. Your opinion counts at 856 227 1360. 
this is Congressman Alan West, and you're listening to the Conservative Commando Radio Show. Welcome, everybody, and welcome, fellow patriots. Welcome once again to the Conservative Commandos Radio Show. I'm Rick Trader, coming to you live from the studios of the Conservative Commandos Radio Network at WNJC 1360 in Philadelphia and around the world on the Internet with American Patriots Broadcasting, Talk Stream Live, SHR Media, K98 Talk, iHeart Radio, AM, FM 24-7, and a whole bunch of others. And joining me today as my co-host is the President and CEO of American Uncensored News Network. That's AUN-TV.com, Dana Allen. Dana, welcome to Conservative Commandos. Thank you, Rick. And I know today you're being a, uh, a trooper. You, you have a little bit of a cold, and uh, we, we appreciate your dedication. Yeah, so if you hear sneezing or coughing in the background, please do not try to adjust your radio station. It is just me acting out a cold. Dan, it's great to have you with me today, especially since I'm not feeling my best, and you'll probably have to handle the yeoman's job here in Conservative Commandos today. Well, I'm just grasshopper, and you're the master, Rick. <laughs> what is that and, and if from? people Kung don't understand what that means, that's a uh, old TV show. <laughs> yeah, you have to be older. When, than when was that TV like show, Rick? Was that the 1980s? That's it. So, Dana, what's uh, what's on your radar screen today? Well, you know, one of the biggest things I think is happening in the country right now is this, um, you know, this emergence of people might call it fascism, which is maybe not the best word. You know, it's definitely related, but it's it, on our college campuses, it's this intolerance and hate and anti-free speech um, movement that's going on. And uh, I, I, I think it's one of the biggest things going on in the country, and it's probably scaring a lot of people right now, and uh, rightfully so. You know, people tend to get frightened of things that are, you know, never will happen or, or whatever, but th- this, this is a serious issue. We really have a problem. I agree, Dana, and it's being fed by the liberal left and also the liberal media. They, have, they are capitalizing on this fear that people have, they are magnifying this fear that people have in it, but it's unrealistic. My gosh, we conservatives lived through eight years of Barack Obama, the most mm-hmm. socialist and I'll call it communist president that we have ever had. So if we can live through that, I'm sure they could live through Donald Trump. I mean, they're not going to die. They're not going to suffer. They're not going to starve. Actually, yeah. they're probably going to do a lot better than what they were under Barack Obama. They'll be a lot safer. Their jobs will be more secure. There will be more jobs out there for them to find. So I don't think they have anything to worry about. And I think that as we go on in the Trump administration, more and more people are going to see that. And they're also going to see that these people out there are just crying wolf. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. The sky is not falling in, Dana. Well, it's not on them, but (laughs) they may be the sky falling on us. It's uh, because, you know, they've taken over countries before. You know, they... Their philosophy, economic philosophy, is very much like Adolf Hitler's, and I'm talking about the rioters, the anti-free speech people who claim that they're against fascism, but they are the fascist. And, uh, I mean, it's, it's hard to think, you know, you had the brown shirts on the college campuses in Germany. You know, what are they not doing that the Nazis did um, did in the early days, you know, before they got complete governmental control? What did the right. Nazis do in the 1920s that these, you know, people that refer to themselves as liberals or progressives didn't do? I, you know, I, I can you think of anything? Well, Dana, I agree with you on that. And I'll take it another step farther. I think that they should bring back the Committee on Un-American Relations. Yeah. Or, I'm sorry, Committee on Un-American Activities. The Committee on Un-American Activities. Very popular in the early 1950s uh, with Senator Joseph McCarthy. And it's villainized today, Dana. It's villainized by the liberal left. It was villainized by Hollywood, who who was basically the target of those hearings. Absolutely. But if you look back on history, Joseph McCarthy was right on 
seven percent of his accusations. You're very the liberal well left want to pick on the two per, two or three percent where he was wrong, but yeah. the, com- the committee on un-American activities was a good tool, and I think that we should bring it back. We need to find out who is funding these demonstrations and these riots. And another right. thing, Dana, they should be held liable in civil and criminal courts. Yes, yes. You, you know, in the issue, I'm very free, you know, very pro-free speech. But one of the things too. you don't have the right to do in America from the beginning is to encourage criminal activity. And uh, it, it's a crime to burn down buildings and break their windows in. But that's what these people are doing in Berkeley. And so anyone that goes out and says, do this, that that is not protected speech. And I, it was in the San Francisco Chronicle today. They had an article and they interviewed someone and he gave his name and everything. And uh, he said, oh, I think these, uh, well, he called them something else but they were riots. I think these riots in Berkeley were great, you know. Uh, you, you can, you know, replace windows. You can't replace people's lives. And, you know, I think this is very successful. And if this guy ever tries to speak again in Berkeley, you know, we'll do the same thing. And so the, the San Francisco Chronicle did this interview, printed this article with no negative comments at all. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah, this is, you know, rioting and arson is just fine as long as you do it in, you know, in accordance, let's say, with the Democrat Communist Party philosophy. And that that's not protected free speech. What's protected free speech is what the guy was trying to, that was trying to talk was doing. He was just going to talk about, um, you know, um, politics. And I guess he'd been invited by the, um, the Berkeley uh, Young Republican Club at the University of, of Berkeley. And they just said, you know, basically these rioters, these anti-free speech people say only, you know, like communist ideas or Democratic Party ideas. These are the only ideas that are allowed to be spoken at a university. And that is totally against the, the, the purpose of a university. And that's that's what's going on. Um, do, are you near a computer, Rick? Um, in, I am in front of one right now, Dana, as I okay. am for every show. Very, that's very why good. my eyes uh, are not so bad, Dana. It's the... The eight years that I have given to the Conservative Commandos radio show, yeah. as George Washington said at one time, and I don't mean to equate myself with George Washington, but what he said one time is, I've gone blind in service to my country. So, yes, I am in front of the... <laughs> well, if you go to aun-tv.com, we've got a video up, and it's of a, a professor at uh, New York University and it's it's almost all f words. Uh, it, it, that's warned the the, uh, the listeners here right away. But I mean, it is it's just total Nazi, fascist, communist type stuff. And she's screaming with hatred in her voice, saying, "You know, you police people, you should be beating up these people that are trying to do free speech." And, and what it was is this guy Gavin McGinnis. He's you know well known comedian, and um, you know he's on Fox. TV all the time, and these students and professors were just outraged that someone was being, was allowed to say something that disagreed with their thoughts, and they did this, and they held up signs saying anti-fascist, <laughs> and they are the fascists. They, they are, are the fascists. I mean, it's just, it's appalling, you know. Um, I put a comment at the end of this article that, you know, since she was begging the police to beat people uh, just because, um, you know, uh, they were, according to her, fascist. Well, she's the fascist. So what she's really doing was asking the police to beat herself up, you know. And I, I think if, if they could have gotten legal permission to do it, I wouldn't be surprised if some of the policemen would like to, like to have done it. Well, it, it certainly... It, they certainly are interesting times that we live in, Dana. And you're, these people are totally, totally unhinged. They are yeah. so different. They are acting so different than we acted when Barack Obama won his elections. What we That's did right. is we went out, we protested, we demonstrated without breaking windows, without being obscene, without hurting people. We picked up our trash. We picked up our garbage. We went to work, we elected a House of Representatives, and then we elected a Congress. 
We didn't act all like a bunch of spoiled brats. We didn't act like a bunch of children. Hey, Dana, got to take a break, and you are listening to the Conservative Commandos radio show with Dana Allen, president and CEO of AUN-TV.com, and yours truly, Rick Trader. And we're coming to you from the studios of the Conservative Commandos radio network at WNJC 1360 in Philadelphia and around the world on the Internet with American Patriots Broadcasting, Talk Stream Live, SHR Media, K98 Talk, iHeartRadio, AM, FM 24-7. Today's show, like all our shows, is being brought to you by the First Amendment and protected by the Second. Dana and I will be right back with more news and commentary. I really don't care. That's my They say I'm messy, but I... The Conservative Commandos Radio Show is the commander of the Conservative Commandos Radio Network. We've established a front line of conservative leaders and ironclad patriots to revive the promise of America. There must be some kind of way out of here. We patriots have succeeded in securing the next four years of American prosperity, sovereignty, and liberty under President Donald Trump. But the fight is never over, and we must be forever vigilant. Drink my wine. Do you have a passion for American values? Do you believe in preserving the American dream? If so, listen to the Conservative Commandos Radio Network. Monday through Saturday from 12 to 6 p.m. on WNJC Radio, 1360 a.m. or around the world on the Internet at ccrshow.com and ccrsnetwork.com. Check out our websites for rebroadcasts and network updates. We are the Conservative Commandos Radio Network, where even more newsmakers go to be heard. Hi, I'm Kevin Wade. Conservative Commandos is happy to welcome Liberty HealthShare as a sponsor. Liberty HealthShare is a community of health-conscious Americans who practice long-standing Christian principles in sharing health care costs. Liberty HealthShare exists for everyone who purchases health care for themselves or their family or who wants to control their own health care. I run a small business, and we were caught in the confusion of Washington's ever-changing health insurance requirements. We found a common-sense solution in Liberty Health Share. Liberty Health Share is not insurance. It simply unites like-minded Americans to share medical costs together. Join a community of health-conscious Americans who practice long-standing Christian principles in sharing health care costs. That's Liberty Health Share. To find out how you can easily make the change, call Liberty Health Share today at 855-585-4237. That's 855-585-4237. Or visit their website at libertyhealthshare.org. This is Pastor Christina Lamanier, chaplain for the Indiana Republican Assembly. And I'm her husband, J.D. Manier. We won the election, but we must now install President Trump's nominees. We urge you to call the Capitol switchboard at 202-225-3121 and ask your senators to do their job. They need to confirm Judge Neil Gorsuch and remaining cabinet members. We the people never want to see another Berkeley. The First Amendment doesn't give you the right to commit acts of violence. It pains us to watch anarchy unfold on college campuses, bus stops, and coffee shops. Thomas Jefferson said, All tyranny needs to gain a foothold is for people of good conscience to remain silent. Let us join in unity to pray for America. Once again, the number to call is 202-225-3121. You can call the Conservative Commandos Radio Show at 856-227-1360. Your opinion counts at 856-227-1360. This is Congressman Alan West, and you're listening to the Conservative Commando Radio Show. If you'd like to hear rebroadcast today's show, please check out our website, ccrsnetwork.com and ccrshow.com or at 8 a.m. log on to Leading Edge Radio Network or 11 p.m. log on to highplainstalkradio.com and you can listen to us on any phone by calling 832-999-1199. Welcome back to the Conservative Commandos. Uh, 
Rick. I, I'm, I'm here uh, today with uh, our uh, the master, and I'm just grasshopper. But Rick, did you take a look at that video in that article? No, I haven't had a, a chance to, Dana, but I will. Okay. But uh, he- I did see the protests as they were happening. The pro the protest in New York and Berkeley, and again, again, Dana, that's not how we acted. We conservatives, yes. conservatives, that is not how we acted. That's not yes. how we elected the House of Representatives. That's not how we elected the Senate, and that's not how we elected Donald Trump. Yes. I do think that these annex, these actions, are going uh, are going to have an effect on their side. I think the people in the middle, people, the moderates, mm-hmm. are going to see through these bizarre activities and and, yes. and and I think the American people are going to see them as the fringe as the wacky loony fringe because that's how they're acting that's how they dress that's right. what they say they say wacky things yeah you know I, 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 I've been you know observer since I was a child you know so I've been observing stuff since the 1960s and you know th- there's been rough times in America but in terms of the irrationality and and just blindness. I think this is the worst it's ever been. That's that that's that's how it perceives me. And, and, and in the article, at the very bottom of it, there is a YouTube video that you can click on and watch this this uh, <laughs> New York University professor just yelling one f word after another, asking the police to beat up anyone that's a conservative. And um, you know, on this thing, it, you have to look at this. Just the still that's in in the article, because in the still, someone's holding up a sign that says, "Smash fascism and white supremacy." That's that's what it says. Okay, and you look at this crowd, and all of them are fascist, and all of them are white. <laughs> I just I think everyone should watch this. You're going to hear you know like 50 f words in about three minutes in this thing, but you I think everyone should watch this just to realize where these people are really coming from. And you know yep. it raises a question. You know, people send their children to college so that they can become like this. You know that's not their intention, but it's it's like sometimes there's mindless traditions like oh the you know work really hard and save up your money so you can send your children to college so they can become like Hillary Clinton and, and this fascist um, you know college professor it, you know that's not it the reason you know in the old days was if you sent someone to college is that would help your child they wouldn't be indoctrinated into being a communist they wouldn't be indoctrinated into being against free speech and they might actually learn something useful that could help them get a better job but with what's going on we have to ask ourselves you know it, 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 the, the guy that does dirty jobs you, you know that you know that TV show Mike Rick? Rowe. absolutely uh-huh. He he has talked about this, and we did another article on this in AUN TV. In fact, we put out a video, and about fifty thousand people have watched it on our YouTube channel. And and it you know it asks this this question about you know education. You know, is it really a good idea? Is college education really a benefit? And Mike wrote. You know, he, he says the student debt problem is, is just insane. You know, we have a trillion dollars debt or whatever on this thing. And these people are being taught, you know, worthless things. And people that don't go to college that le- learn a real skill like welding or whatever can make far more money than someone that gets, you know, $60,000 into debt to get a history degree. And so I, I think this is one of the biggest mistakes being made in our country, yeah. that maybe more money is being wasted on this than anything else is because – People, I know people in their 40s and 50s are still trying to get out yep. of student debt. And what did they receive in, in, in return for this huge financial burden on themselves? They get told a bunch of lies. That's, you know, is that a good deal? You know, no, Dana, well, question. look at all the people that have gone to college and come out with degrees in things like sociology, okay? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Y- think of all the lawyers who went to college... Through, through college, through law school, come out and can't find a job, can't make a living at this time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a lot of the things that are being taught in college today do not help people get a job. They do yeah. not prepare people for a job. 
And I'm, yeah. I'm, see, Dana, I'm an expert on raising children because I don't have any. And therefore, <laughs> I don't have any of the biases that come along with being a parent. These parents that send their kids to school spend fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 a year to send their kids to school. They graduate. They have a degree that they cannot use. They absolutely cannot use. They're not prepared for any workforce. They've got themselves to blame because they they let their kids do this. You know, yeah. Dana, I am in favor of people paying their own way. Yeah. I think that if kids paid that tuition themselves, worked and paid for that tuition, they would demand better classes. They there would you go. demand better preparation for the real world. Absolutely, Rick. You, you, you're absolutely right. It, it's the student debt thing where, you know, th these kids, they're not really, you know, smart enough to be honest about it. Yes. They don't have the financial knowledge to know how dangerous what they're getting involved with is, that this is the only type of debt that you can't get use bankruptcy to get out of, and that if you put yourself in the whole $60,000 to get a college education, what a tremendous drag this is going to be on them for the rest of their lives, you know, and if they, but that's, that's how they sucker them into this. They go, oh, it's just numbers on a piece of paper. You know, it could be $5,000, but it's 50,000. That's just one digit, you know, just a tiny little, but that, that will plague them for the rest of their lives. And they, they need, if they did what you're talking about, they actually had to pay for it semester by semester, pay with their own cash. They'd question again before they would, um, you know, get themselves into this bind. And uh, so, you know, I, maybe we should have a boycott on college aid. Maybe there's a better way of doing this. Maybe people don't physically have to go to a brick-and-mortar college. Maybe they can well, learn Well, Dana, all there is. Stuff. And in my opinion, the, the answer to a lot, of situ a lot of problems with kids being prepared for a job is we've lost something in, the, in this country, and that's the apprentice program. Yes, yes, there okay. you go. I, you know, I believe in small government. I believe that we should not use the tax system for social engineering. However, it's done that way. So how about if we let people who own businesses hire people at less than minimum wage at a stipend like $5 an hour, and let's give them a tax credit to hire somebody and to train them for a real job. That's fantastic. A job where they can make real money at, be it plumbing, yep. electricity, carpentry. Right. Because there's a lot of people out there with degrees, Dana, that cannot make a living. And there are That's the ones they're, they're that are rioting, at, rioting in Berkeley, rioting in New York. They're yeah, the they're ones frustrated. that are part of the Occupy Wall Street crowd. Absolutely. You're, you're very insightful, Rick. And, and, and these people are suffering. They had a job, the Dana, that wouldn't be rioting. If they that, had to that, get up the right. next There's, morning and go to work, they wouldn't be rioting, Dana. They, they're suffering from WDS. You know, it's, it's a horrible disease. WDS is worthless degree syndrome. Well, <laughs> we're going to have to go into a break here. Please stay with us. Uh, we're coming to you live from the Conservative Commandos Radio Network Studios, WNJC 1360, our flagship station in Philadelphia, and around the world on the Internet with American Patriots Broadcasting, Talk Stream Live, SHR Media, K98 Talk, iHeartRadio, and AM FM 247. <laughs> This is Rick Trader, host of the Conservative Commandos Radio Show. And I'm John Forsyth, owner of WNJC Radio. Fellow patriots, the Conservative Commandos Radio Show is for conservatives, about conservatives, and by conservatives. We are patriots who want to take our country back from the likes of Barack Obama, Harry Reid, George Soros, and Nancy Pelosi. But we can't keep up this fight without your critical support today. Can you help? Please go to www.helpccrs.com right now and make a donation by credit card, 
or PayPal. That's www.helpccrs.com. Our goal is to expose the liberal agenda and distortions. We are fighting to spread the truth about political issues, political leaders, and conservative issues and values. Our hosts are not paid. In fact, we buy our own airtime, studio time, and pay our own expenses. We created the show because we are trying to make a difference. So can you help the CCRS expose the truth in 2014 and beyond? Go to www.helpccrs.com. Help keep the Conservative Commandos radio show on the air by going to www.helpccrs.com and make a donation today to return our country to the conservative roots created by our founding fathers. If your health care has become a burden and you're worried about being stuck for another year, you have options. Liberty HealthShare could be the solution to your problem. Open enrollment is here and could be your chance to free yourself from insurance. Take this opportunity and join Liberty HealthShare. You can finally be in control and have freedom when it comes to your health care. Liberty HealthShare offers an entirely open network, which means you choose your doctors and you choose your hospitals. Liberty HealthShare offers freedom from insurance, meaning no tax-related penalties. To find out how you can easily make the change, call Liberty HealthShare today at 855-585-4237. That's 855-585-4237. Or visit their website at libertyhealthshare.org. That's libertyhealthshare.org. What does it take to be the leader in production systems technology? To be the one company that solves production problems at any plant, for any product, and with any technology? It takes a 30-year record of success. It takes total mastery of complex technologies with a history of delivering success every time without fail. Only one company can claim that high ground in manufacturing line optimization, data automation, and systems integration, and that's Philadelphia Control Systems. In factories worldwide, Philadelphia Control Systems programs, software, and engineering solutions deliver optimal performance and output flow with a record that can't be matched. Any plant, any product, any technology. Philadelphia Control Systems, the leader in production automation since 1982. 800-335-9811. PCSforAutomation.com. That's PCS, the number four, automation.com. The Conservative Commandos Radio Show is the commander of the Conservative Commandos Radio Network. We've established a front line of conservative leaders and ironclad patriots to revive the promise of America. There must be some kind of way out of here. We patriots have succeeded in securing the next four years of American prosperity, sovereignty, and liberty under President Donald Trump. But the fight is never over, and we must be forever vigilant. Do you have a passion for American values? Do you believe in preserving the American dream? If so, listen to the Conservative Commandos Radio Network, Monday through Saturday from 12 to 6 p.m. on WNJC Radio, 1360 a.m. or around the world on the Internet at ccrshow.com and ccrsnetwork.com. Check out our websites for rebroadcasts and network updates. We are the Conservative Commandos Radio Network, where even more newsmakers go to be heard. From the East Coast to the West Coast and around the world on the Internet, we're coming to you live from the CCRS studios. WNJC 1360. This is the Conservative Commandos Radio Show with your host, Rick Trader. The Conservative Commandos Radio Show, where the newsmakers go to be heard. You can call the Conservative Commandos Radio Show. 
at 856-227-1360. Your opinion counts at 856-227-1360. This is Congressman Alan West, and you're listening to the Conservative Commando Radio Show. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the Conservative Commando's radio show with Dana Allen and yours truly, Rick Trader. And for rebroadcasts of our show, please check out our websites, ccrshow.com or ccrsnetwork.com. Or at 8 a.m., log on to Leading Edge Radio Network. Or at 11 p.m., highplainstalkradio.com. Or you can hear our show any time of the day from your telephone by calling 832 832- Nine 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 one one nine nine. You don't need an app. You don't need to download anything. You just need a phone and this number, eight three two nine 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 one one nine nine. Dana, last night a federal appeals court held hearings on the Trump travel order. A federal appeals court heard arguments Tuesday on whether to restore Donald Trump's controversial immigration order, making a critical juncture for the president's directive temporarily banning refugees from seven Muslim majority countries from entering the United States. Well, Dana, unfortunately, this case is being heard in that wacky liberal Ninth Circuit out in the West, and I do not feel good about these three judges favoring in Donald Trump, or favoring for Donald Trump. But in lieu of that, Dana, there is something that every American can do to help stem the tide of this illegal immigration. And that is report illegal aliens to ICE. And you can report illegal aliens to Immigration and Customs Enforcement ICE by calling 1-866-347-2423. They'll need to know names, locations, either places of work or residence, and any other specific information. You can also go on their website, www.ice.gov, for more information. But if you know of someone who is here illegally, report them to ICE. This is something that we all can do to help stem this tide of illegal immigration. Call ICE. And again, that telephone number is 866-347-2423. Something everyone can, everyone can do. Be a patriot. Report an illegal to ICE. That's yeah, very good, Rick. Uh, that's, that's interesting. You know, for the, the last previous three administrations, and that would be Clinton, Bush, and Obama, they, the, the, the people that work for ICE want to enforce the laws, but the administrations didn't want the laws enforced. And uh, multiple cases of this, a, a sheriff in Colorado caught a, a van with, you know, 18 illegals in it, and they called up ICE. This this happened, I, I believe, in the Bush or the Obama administration. It says, I just caught them. And they say, release them. Say, what do you mean? We, we just caught them. We got 18. They've all confessed. They're all illegal aliens. They go, release them directly from ICE, because that's what ICE was being told to do. So I think things have changed now, and if you do as you talk about, report someone to ICE, I think that this will actually get uh, enforced. And I haven't heard any rumors that, that they don't want to enforce the um, immigration laws anymore. Have you? No, I haven't. And I agree with you, Dana. I think that the Customs officials, the Border Patrol is is looking to do their job. I think they really yes. want to do their job. I think that under President Trump, they they will see that they're allowed to do their job now. But you know, we all can be eyes and ears for for yeah. our country. And that's if you see illegals, if you hear of illegals, report them to ICE. Make a phone call. It's it's a toll free number one eight six six. Three four seven two four two three. Report them. It's your duty yeah. as a citizen. Yeah. These people have broken our laws to come here. Dana, have yep. you ever made or have you ever been accused of making an illegal entry into the country? 
Well, I, I, I was born here, but I, I have been, I've been to Mexico a lot of times, and, yeah. um, and you know, it's one of the advantages of the United States is there's a lot more corruption and bribery. And well, so have the you very ever first been accused there, of making an illegal entry into the country? No, I, I never have. I have. Oh, really? And what the circumstances of were, as a pilot, I was flying back into the United States from <laughs> Canada. I had to file a flight plan called an Av- AVCUS flight plan, which means advise customs that I was coming. Huh. The message went to the wrong airport. So when <laughs> I landed, I was arrested by customs and immigration. And this is what I was told, Dana. Uh-huh. You have made an illegal entry into the United States. You're subject to a $10,000 fine and oh five years in jail. Wow. Now, making an illegal entry into the country is a misdemeanor. However, yeah. if you are apprehended and deported and make another entry into the country, then it is a felony. Wow. It is the law. They deport you because you know, you're an American Dana, we citizen. have the laws on the books. We don't need immigration reform. What we right. need is our immigration laws adhered to and followed and enforced. Right. right. So again, well, Dana, I want to give out this number. Sure. For our listeners. And I'm asking our listeners to become the eyes and the ears to please report anyone they know of that is in this country illegally. And that number is one 347 24 Two, three. They'll need to know things like names and locations, either a workplace or a residence, and, and maybe some other information. But here is also their website, www.ice.gov, www.ice.gov. Dana, if these judges, if these liberal judges are not going to protect, protect us, we need to protect ourselves our friends, our families, and our neighbors by reporting these people that are here illegally. Sure. Yeah, that could put, put, definitely put an end to it. And, and people out there, especially if you uh, know someone's up to no good, some type of other criminal activity, you're not necessarily positive about someone's immigration status. Well, in case they are illegal, that's a way that uh, you can get rid of, uh, you know, basically a bad actor. Uh, if they end up being illegal, uh, did I did I ever tell you? Oh, after we we have to go to a break right now, and uh, and I'm supposed to be the one doing it. So uh, we're coming to you live from the Conservative Commandos Radio Network Studios, WNJC 1360, our flagship station in Philadelphia and around the world on the internet with American Patriots Broadcasting, Talk Stream Live, SHR Media, K98 Talk, iHeart Radio, and AM FM 24/7. The Conservative Commandos Radio Show is the commander of the Conservative Commandos Radio Network. We've established a front line of conservative leaders and ironclad patriots to revive the promise of America. There must be some kind of way out of here. We patriots have succeeded in securing the next four years of American prosperity, sovereignty, and liberty under President Donald Trump. But the fight is never over, and we must be forever vigilant. Do you have a passion for American values? Do you believe in preserving the American dream? If so, listen to the Conservative Commandos Radio Network Monday through Saturday from 12 to 6 p.m. on WNJC Radio, 1360 a.m. or around the world on the Internet at ccrshow.com and ccrsnetwork.com. Check out our websites for rebroadcasts and network updates. We are the Conservative Commandos Radio Network, where even more newsmakers go to be heard. 
Hi, I'm Kevin Wade. Conservative Commandos is happy to welcome Liberty HealthShare as a sponsor. Liberty HealthShare is a community of health-conscious Americans who practice long-standing Christian principles in sharing health care costs. Liberty HealthShare exists for everyone who purchases health care for themselves or their family or who wants to control their own health care. I run a small business, and we were caught in the confusion of Washington's ever-changing health insurance requirements. We found a common-sense solution in Liberty HealthShare. Liberty HealthShare is not insurance. It simply unites like-minded Americans to share medical costs together. Join a community of health-conscious Americans who practice long-standing Christian principles in sharing health care costs. That's Liberty HealthShare. To find out how you can easily make the change, call Liberty HealthShare today at 855-585-4237. That's 855-585-4237. Or visit their website at libertyhealthshare.org. This is Pastor Christina Lamineer, chaplain for the Indiana Republican Assembly. And I'm her husband, J.D. Manier. We won the election, but we must now install President Trump's nominees. We urge you to call the Capitol switchboard at 202-225-3121 and ask your senators to do their job. They need to confirm Judge Neil Gorsuch and remaining cabinet members. We the people never want to see another Berkeley. The First Amendment doesn't give you the right to commit acts of violence. It pains us to watch anarchy unfold on college campuses, bus stops, and coffee shops. Thomas Jefferson said, All tyranny needs to gain a foothold is for people of good conscience to remain silent. Let us join in unity to pray for America. Once again, the number to call is 202-225-3121. You can call the Conservative Commandos Radio Show at 856-227-1360. Your opinion counts at 856-227-1360. This is Thomas from Allen West, and you're listening to the Conservative Commando Radio Show. If you'd like to hear a rebroadcast of today's show, please check out our websites, uh, ccrsnetwork.com and ccrshow.com or at 8 a.m. log on to Leading Edge Radio Network or at 11 p.m. log on to highplainstalkradio.com and you can listen to us at any time by just using your phone and calling 832-999-1199. We're glad to be back. I'm with Rick Trader and he was telling us about how he once illegally entered the United States in an an airplane. Uh, Maybe a little bit more color on that is that uh, Rick is a, a pioneer in the ultralight flying area if you're not familiar with that those are planes that are so small that two strong men can uh, pick one up off the ground is that correct rick uh pretty much uh, the airplane that i flew was about 700 and i'm sorry 175 pounds it was a, a kit dolled aircraft and a uh, lot of fun to fly the wow, that's way more. I think the, the minimum is the, the maximum is 400 pounds, 176 pounds. Wow, that's really an ultra light. Yeah, 375 so, pounds. Oh, 270. Okay, that's more like it. Uh, uh, yeah, otherwise, 375. <laughs> well, you know, I, I might be able to slightly one up you on your illegal entry <laughs> story, Rick. <laughs> and I'm glad you didn't get put in prison. And I can talk. No, about I didn't get put in prison, but I was detained for a couple hours. They wow, went. They they did a. They searched me, they searched my airplane, they searched everything that I was carrying, and after two hours they said, oh, we're sorry, your Avcos flight plan got sent to the wrong airport. <laughs> and I'm a citizen, I'm a U.S. citizen, Dana. Yeah. You know, it wasn't like I was you know, trying to enter like a foreign being... country, I was re-entering my country, the place right. where I was born and raised. Right. Well, my illegal entry was to a, to a foreign country, and in fact, I, I believe the first time I was ever out of the country, I was about uh, 15 years old, and uh, my father, uh, a pilot, and they had a Cessna 336, and we're flying down to the Baja, uh, California area, the Cape area, near uh, Cabo San Lucas, was only 500 people at that time, this would be about 1968. You and, should have uh, bought real I, estate. Yeah, absolutely, should have. Uh, so, well, uh, you know, I, I did not have a pilot's license, but I'd gone through uh, ground school, and, and you were a little bit mystified by my instant message about Sorter being a pilot. So I could fly. 
I, I mostly did as autopilot up in the air. I, I was the autopilot. My father would give me the heading, the altitude, and I'd fly. And then, you know, that way you didn't have to buy an expensive autopilot. But um, so Cessna 336 was a twin-engine airplane. And so we left uh, from the California border, my first time going into a foreign country, and we flew nonstop down to La Paz. And uh, we came up, and uh, we just see this huge concrete airstrip. And my father says, you know, have you ever landed a plane, Dana? And I said, no. Uh, he says, this would be a great place to do it. He says, I'll, I'll talk you through it as you land the plane. This strip is huge. So, you know, you know, strip design for 747s and everything. Mm-hmm. Great big international airport. So he talks me through it, and I, I was able to land without any problem. And then we get down the ground, and we've been sort of busy with my first landing ever. And, and hadn't noticed that there wasn't a single airplane on the ground. <laughs> We look over at the great big huge control tower and there's no one in the control tower and we look around some more and we just see some workmen breaking forms on the edge of the of the airstrip and the the concrete was that super bright white it is when it's about two days old. And so we look back out on the strip and there's only two skid marks on the whole uh, uh, strip, you know. So I was the first person to land at this airport, whatever the heck airport it was. So we go, oh, no, we're in trouble. You know, we just came in from a foreign country, you know, and they might suspect drug drug trafficking or something. So we got back up in the air immediately, and then we noticed about 10 miles away on the south side of La Paz, not the north side, was this great big asphalt strip with airplanes all over the place. So we went over and landed there. We're afraid that we're going to get caught. You know, this would be an illegal entry, and right. we got out of there as fast as we could, okay? And then... Um, uh, later, I the was the federals down. come around. Uh, absolutely, they just didn't catch on. Yeah, they're and not as nice. They're they're is not as nice to Americans who come into that, their that, country true. illegally saw, as no, we are to them when they come here illegally. So I later I took a flight, you know, about five years ago down into um, La Paz International Air Mexicana flight. And I'm getting off the plane, and I told the the captain, I said, uh, "Do you know I was the first person to ever land an airplane at this airport?" He <laughs> says, "Senor, what did you do to gain such an honor?" And I told him this story, and he thought it was hilarious. I didn't have a pilot's license; it's my first landing in my life, and the airport wasn't open yet. It just, you know, the concrete was maybe two years old when I when I I mean two days old when I landed on it. So that that's my illegal entry story, Rick. You weren't arrested. Hey, Dana, we got a couple of great guests lined up for today. We absolutely do. We have Craig Bannister. He's the editor-in-chief for MRC TV. That's Media Research Center. And he's uh, talking actually about how in education systems, um, they're, you know, feeling that their students are being horribly harassed by uh, uh, President Trump and traumatized by this, and so we'll have to, we'll uh, find out what Craig has to say about that. And then we have a uh, another great guest, and that is um, uh, uh, later on. It's Jeff Dunnans, and he is going to be talking about global warming and why uh, the uh, NOAA uh, has fudged the climate data to try to make global warming look like it's uh, still happening when it, it, it it's actually paused. All right, so we do have a couple of great guests lined up for our audience yes. today. You know, yes. Dana, again, talking about illegal immigration. Another story here coming out of Investors Business Daily. Despite almost nonstop criticism from politicians, business leaders, the media, over President Trump's decision to, to suspend refugees for up to 120 days, The public still supports Trump by a margin of 51% to 48%, according to the latest Investors Business Daily poll. So people, we as people of the United States want our laws enforced. You know, Dana, what I would like to know, and sometimes maybe we'll get somebody like Hans von Spakovsky from the Heritage Foundation on Let's say these liberal judges, these liberal activist judges, by their actions, permit a terrorist into this country. Mm-hmm. Now, this terrorist blows up a bomb and kills someone's family member. Why can't that family sue these liberal judges for their actions that permitted this to happen? 
Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. I go back, I think back to a story. There was an, uh, a full of brush salesman. You remember full of brush, right, Dana? Absolutely. I remember they the guy with the They were independent contractors, independent salespeople. They sold brushes, soaps, and other things, door-to-door and party plan. Anyway, one of these fuller brush men went to a home. There was a young lady there. He raped her. Fuller brush was held responsible for that man's actions. Now, mm-hmm. can, you make a, can you make a scenario whereas that if somebody is allowed to come here because the actions of a liberal judge and one of these people commits a crime, yeah. that the victim of the crime or the family, sh- can they sue the judge? Can a judge be sued for dereliction of duty? Uh, you know, I think they've written special laws just to protect themselves that, you know, basically politicians and judges are not liable for their actions. In well, you know, we've position. got laws now, Dana, that people are ignoring. We have a yep. law that says the President of the United States, through executive action to protect the country, can limit people from coming here. Yep. We have laws. Those laws are being ignored, Dana. Yep, I know. I know. I, you know, they could be impeached. Uh, that that would be a, a good idea. And well, maybe, say- maybe Donald Trump should stick the Justice Department on these liberal activist judges, like in the Ninth Court, that have ignored our laws and have ignored our Constitution mm-hmm. for, for years, for years, yeah. and impeach these judges on the premise of failure to uphold their law to defend the Constitu- Constitution sure. of the United States. Sure. Yeah, it, it's a huge problem, uh, and and I think there could be a justification for doing it. It's not them disagreeing with them. It's them not upholding the Constitution. And there's a whole school of thought in the legal world where they don't believe in the Constitution, but they have to become a judge. You have to take an oath to protect the Constitution. So it's this whole school of thought is basically illegal. Impeach them. Yep, absolutely. Throw them out. Yeah. Kick their butts to the curb, because if they're not enforcing the law, if they're making up the laws they go, depending upon, quote-unquote, how they feel about things, they are violating their oath of office. Yes. Kick yes. their butts That's... to the curb. Yes. Hey, yeah. Dana, break time one more time, and you are listening to the Conservative Commandos radio show with Dana Allen and your truly Rick Trader, coming to you from the, from the studios of the Conservative Commandos radio network at WNJC 1360 in Philadelphia, and around the world on the Internet with American Patriots Broadcasting, Talk Stream Live, SHR Media, K98 Talk, iHeartRadio, AM, FM 24-7. Today's show, like all our shows, is being brought to you by the First Amendment and protected by the Second. On the other side, we're going to be talking with Craig Bannister from CNS News and the Media Research Center. Be right back. This is Rick Trader, host of the Conservative Commandos Radio Show. And I'm John Forsyth, owner of WNJC Radio. Fellow patriots, the Conservative Commandos Radio Show is for conservatives, about conservatives, and by conservatives. We are patriots who want to take our country back from the likes of Barack Obama, Harry Reid, George Soros, and Nancy Pelosi. But we can't keep up this fight without your critical support today. Can you help? Please go to www.helpccrs.com right now and make a donation by credit card or PayPal. That's www.helpccrs.com. Our goal is to expose the liberal agenda and distortions. We are fighting to spread the truth about political issues, political leaders, and conservative issues and values. Our hosts are not paid. In fact, we buy our own airtime studio time and pay our own expenses we created the show because we are trying to make a difference so can you help the ccrs expose the truth in 2014 and beyond 
go to www.helpccrs.com. Help keep the Conservative Commandos radio show on the air by going to www.helpccrs.com and make a donation today to return our country to the conservative roots created by our founding fathers. If your health care has become a burden and you're worried about being stuck for another year, you have options. Liberty Health Share could be the solution to your problem. Open enrollment is here and could be your chance to free yourself from insurance. Take this opportunity and join Liberty Health Share. You can finally be in control and have freedom when it comes to your health care. Liberty Health Share offers an entirely open network, which means you choose your doctors and you choose your hospitals. Liberty Health Share offers freedom from insurance, meaning no tax related penalties. To find out how you can easily make the change, call Liberty Health Share today at 855 585 4237. That's 855 585 4237. Or visit their website at libertyhealthshare.org. That's libertyhealthshare.org. What does it take to be the leader in production systems technology? To be the one company that solves production problems at any plant, for any product, and with any technology? It takes a 30-year record of success. It takes total mastery of complex technologies with a history of delivering success every time without fail. Only one company can claim that high ground in manufacturing line optimization, data automation, and systems integration, and that's Philadelphia Control Systems. In factories worldwide, Philadelphia Control Systems programs, software, and engineering solutions deliver optimal performance and output flow with a record that can't be matched. Any plant, any product, any technology. Philadelphia Control Systems, the leader in production automation since 1982. 800-335-9811. PCSforAutomation.com. That's PCS, the number four, Automation.com. The Conservative Commandos Radio Show is the commander of the Conservative Commandos Radio Network. We've established a front line of conservative leaders and ironclad patriots to revive the promise of America. There must be some kind of way out of here. We patriots have succeeded in securing the next four years of American prosperity, sovereignty, and liberty under President Donald Trump. But the fight is never over, and we must be forever vigilant. Drink my wine. Do you have a passion for American values? Do you believe in preserving the American dream? If so, listen to the Conservative Commandos Radio Network Monday through Saturday from 12 to 6 p.m. on WNJC Radio, 1360 a.m. or around the world on the Internet at ccrshow.com and ccrsnetwork.com. Check out our websites for rebroadcasts and network updates. We are the Conservative Commandos Radio Network, where even more newsmakers go to be heard. From the East Coast to the West Coast and around the world on the Internet, we're coming to you live from the CCRS studios. WNJC 1360. This is the Conservative Commandos Radio Show with your host, Rick Trader. The Conservative Commandos Radio Show, where the newsmakers go to be heard. You can call the Conservative Commandos Radio Show. At 856-227-1360. Your opinion counts at 856-227-1360. This is Congressman Alan West, and you're listening to the Conservative Commando Radio Show. If you'd like to hear a rebroadcast of today's show, please check out our website, ccrsnetwork.com and ccrshow.com. 
or at um, 8 a.m., you can log on to Leading Edge Radio Network. Or at 11 p.m., you can log on to High Plains Talk Radio. And you can uh, listen to us at any time by calling us at 832-999-1199. I'm very pleased to have Craig Bannister with us today. Uh, Craig is the editor-in-chief for MRC TV. Dot org. It's a, a multimedia blog blending hard-hitting topical news and original videos with engaging viral content uh, on popular uh, social media. A division of the Media Research Center, MRCTV.org, provides readers with an important news that is often ignored or misreported by other media outlets. Craig, welcome back to the Conservative Commandos. Yes, hi. Good, good. I'm curious, uh, were you with um, uh, MRC when uh, Mark Morano was still working there? Oh, absolutely. I started when Mark Morano was uh, was still here and uh, spent uh, quite a bit of time uh, making him famous uh, by pitching his stories. <laughs> I'll, I'll have to tell Mark that. Um, yeah, I, I just before Mark went to work there, he worked with me at... Um, uh, what was any NET TV, and which later became America's Voice for the American Investigator television uh, show. Oh, right, so, that was uh, the same time he was uh, Rush Limbaugh's uh, man in Washington uh, back when Rush had a TV show. That's right. He had the trench coat and went around when when the, it was twenty degrees below zero. If he asked people if they believed in global warming, and they they would be shivering and they say, "Oh yes, yes, I believe in global warming." <laughs> So yeah, I I think actually Craig, I think we've met. I, I've been over to those to your um, your operation several times, and your name sounded very familiar. So I think somewhere in the past we probably met. Uh, there's this um, new new thing that you know revolves around immigration and some of the things that Trump has done, and and you've uh, written on this. And uh, I understand that in the Denver School of, of Sciences and Technology that uh, they are warning the parents about, you know, how bad the situation is, and in fact, I'm reading from from this thing that you have that uh, they said uh, that President Trump's recent actions have left many members of our community with anxiety, fear, and doubt. We want to assure you that the DSST will do everything in our power to protect all members of our school community from harassment, deportation, intimidation, and discrimination. Is, is that a problem, Craig? Well, um, it certainly sounds like uh, they're suborning uh, criminal activity, doesn't it? Uh, if people are here illegally um, and are required by law to be uh, deported, uh, doesn't that mean that they are that they are harboring um, uh, <laughs> fugitives by saying we will do everything in our power to protect them from deportation? That, that's right. That'd be like saying we'll do everything in our power to protect uh, uh, burglars from being arrested, you know. It's that's a right. Different type you of know, we, we don't want people time. discriminating against burglars because of the law. Yeah, yeah, I, yep. I, you, you know, this, I, I'll tell you, just, just, this is just a side thing. I, I was in the grocery store line just about the time of the election, and there was a lady in front of me, you know, probably of Mexican descent, and she was telling the grocery, uh, you know, checker guy, he says, oh, you won't believe what my children said today. <laughs> they came back from school all scared, and they, you know, these be grammar uh, school-age children, they, they said that uh, if Trump's elected, he's going to kill all the Mexicans. Really? <laughs> Seriously. Wow, I wish, I'd, I wish I'd had that scoop. Uh, that would have made quite a story. <laughs> I, I, I know, I know. It's, uh, you know, these things, they, you know, it's trying to generate fear amongst the population to get political advantage. And, uh, you know, I think the things that we really have to fear is fire bombs and windows being broken by the people in Berkeley or New York University trying to end free speech. And, um, you know, the stuff that the um, this Denver school is talking about, I, I, I don't know anyone that's ever talked about this. Do you? You know, you have to wonder whether there will come a point uh, when uh, the public, even the, the, the most, um, uh, what would you say, naive public, uh, would begin to see that the sky isn't actually falling. Uh, people keep screaming that uh, Trump's going to put people in uh, internment camps and kill all the Mexicans and 
uh, I'm wondering if it, at some point people will realize that uh, all these things that the left-wing media is warning them of and that uh, the uh, liberal professors and teachers are claiming just um, just isn't true, that it's exaggeration. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, uh, now, these were letters sent to uh, the parents of 12 different schools, uh, and they were talking about how they were looking out for the emotional safety of these students, because, again, the, the snowflakes of today's youth uh, can't bear to be uh, assaulted by any type of uh, opinion or thought that, uh, that might... Uh, disagree with their particular worldview, uh, which is why they are rioting uh, at universities to uh, uh, prevent conservatives from uh, from being able to speak at, um, you know, NYU and, uh, and out in California. Um, and I guess the school has taken it upon itself to, uh, to protect uh, their students from any type of uh, disagreeable thought. Uh, now, uh, one of the letters says that uh, Trump's actions have left members of our community with fear, with anxiety, fear, and doubt. Another one says that, uh, that, that the members of the community are filled with anxiety, fear, and anger. Well, that, uh, that certainly sounds uh, threatening, doesn't it? Yep, it does. It does. You know, wh- wh- where can people see your, your, your thoughts on this, Greg? Um, well, uh, there, there are two places. Um, this particular story is up on mrctv.org, which is a multimedia uh, video-centric blog for um, the Media Research Center. Uh, but most prominently, uh, they can find my uh, ramblings <laughs> uh, on the blog of uh, cnsnews.com, which is the news site of... Uh, the Media Research Center. Yes. Yep. And th- and that's that's in, in, in CNS is where you made Mark Morano famous. Oh yes, I, I he did his uh, first ever uh, Fox uh, television interview. Uh, ah, thanks. I did not know that. Thanks ah. to uh, thanks to my efforts, um, uh, CNS News hadn't uh, been on television before, and uh, uh, now the paradigm was a little bit different back in those days because Mark went out and uh, was getting some really interesting exclusive uh, video of uh, uh, liberals and congressmen and celebrities saying outrageous things and uh, and I was able to basically hold <laughs> hold that video hostage uh, if a network wanted to air it. Uh, in exchange for getting him on the air. Nowadays, with uh, the the new uh, internet paradigm, everything is embeddable, and uh, <laughs> yep. if there's a video up there, yeah, people can pretty much get their hands on it and post it. <laughs> yep, got, gotcha. I didn't. Uh, that, that's you use some leverage on them. That's that's really interesting. You, you know, do you do you think you know? Th- there's this huge. Uh, I don't know what to call it. You know, irrationality or whatever. Where, you know, if someone just uses the term "illegal alien," that's oh, that's just beyond the pale. But throwing bricks through windows and fire bombs at, at police, you know, that's that's just fine. You know, do, do you think, Craig, that these people doing this type of stuff? Do you think they're really that stupid and and? Um, I don't know what the word to use, you know, diluted, or do you think they are aware of how hypocritical they're being? Um, well, I, I think that uh, that a lot of what Lutz Wash Limbaugh would, uh, would call low-information voters uh, are simply taking the cliches that MSNBC feeds them on faith, that... Uh, Paul Ryan hates illegal immigrants. Uh, Donald Trump wants to kill Mexicans, uh, and they just take it and uh, on faith and uh, repeat it because it's much easier than actually doing the research uh, and viewing something askance with a um, uh, with a skeptical, critical eye. Um, and the the media and. Um, uh, the liberal activists have 
done a very effective job of conflating uh, illegal aliens with immigrants, with legal immigrants, uh, mm-hmm. claiming, well, you know, uh, the Republicans hate immigrants. Well, no, no, they don't. But they are against people breaking into the country illegally. Uh, there's quite a difference, and to lump the two together um, is a serious injustice. Absolutely, Craig. We have to go into break right now, but I'd like to ask you about, uh, you, uh, you've you mentioned this article by uh, Congressman Lamar Smith, and uh, we'll, when we come back from the break, we'd love to go into that with you, Craig. Um, Absolutely. We are coming to you live from the Conservative Commandos Radio Network Studios, WNJC 1360, our flagship station in Philadelphia, and around the world on the Internet with American Patriots Broadcasting, Talk Stream Live, SHR Media, K98 Talk, iHeart Radio, and A. AM, FM, 24-7. The Conservative Commandos Radio Show is the commander of the Conservative Commandos Radio Network. We've established a front line of conservative leaders and ironclad patriots to revive the promise of America. There must be some kind of way out of here. We patriots have succeeded in securing the next four years of American prosperity, sovereignty, and liberty under President Donald Trump. But the fight is never over, and we must be forever vigilant. Do you have a passion for American values? Do you believe in preserving the American dream? If so, listen to the Conservative Commandos Radio Network, Monday through Saturday from 12 to 6 p.m. on WNJC Radio, 1360 a.m. or around the world on the Internet at ccrshow.com and ccrsnetwork.com. Check out our websites for rebroadcasts and network updates. We are the Conservative Commandos Radio Network, where even more newsmakers go to be heard. Hi, I'm Kevin Wade. Conservative Commandos is happy to welcome Liberty HealthShare as a sponsor. Liberty HealthShare is a community of health-conscious Americans who practice long-standing Christian principles in sharing health care costs. Liberty HealthShare exists for everyone who purchases health care for themselves or their family or who wants to control their own health care. I run a small business, and we were caught in the confusion of Washington's ever-changing health insurance requirements. We found a common-sense solution in Liberty HealthShare. Liberty HealthShare is not insurance. It simply unites like-minded Americans to share medical costs together. Join a community of health-conscious Americans who practice long-standing Christian principles in sharing health care costs. That's Liberty HealthShare. To find out how you can easily make the change, call Liberty HealthShare today at 855-585-4237. That's 855-585-4237. Or visit their website at libertyhealthshare.org. This is Pastor Christina Lamineer, chaplain for the Indiana Republican Assembly. And I'm her husband, J.D. Manier. We won the election, but we must now install President Trump's nominees. We urge you to call the Capitol switchboard at 202-225-3121 and ask your senators to do their job. They need to confirm Judge Neil Gorsuch and remaining cabinet members. We the people never want to see another Berkeley. The First Amendment doesn't give you the right to commit acts of violence. It pains us to watch anarchy unfold on college campuses, bus stops, and coffee shops. Thomas Jefferson said, All tyranny needs to gain a foothold is for people of good conscience to remain silent. Let us join in unity to pray for America. Once again, the number to call is 202-225-3121. You can call the Conservative Commandos Radio Show at 856-227-1360. Your opinion counts at 856-227-1360. 
This is Congressman Alan West, and you're listening to the Conservative Commando Radio Show. If you'd like to hear a rebroadcast of today's show, please check out our websites, ccrsnetwork.com and ccrshow.com or at 8 a.m. you can log on to Leading Edge Radio Network and at 11 p.m. you can log on to highplainstalkradio.com and you can listen to us at any time by calling on your phone 832-999-1199. We have Craig Bannister with MRC TV with us and uh, I have to apologize, Craig. Um, you, you're actually the author of the article. You just mentioned Lamar Smith in it. Yes, yes, indeed. Yeah. And do, do you think, in the title of your article is, The American People Are Smarter Than the Media Thinks. And um, to tell us about that. Well, uh, that, was a, um, that was a quote uh, on a House floor speech by uh, uh, Representative Lamar Smith uh, from Texas, who, incidentally, is the chairman of the House Media Fairness Caucus. Did you know that there is a House Media Fairness Caucus? You got me, and I'm, I'm a media guy, and I didn't know that existed. Uh, well, there is, and he's the chairman of it, and uh, and they're not looking to take on the media, but uh, basically to try to uh, uh, point out uh, instances where uh, the media has been uh, less than honest. Uh, so it's, it's not meant to be an adversarial um uh, organization or group, but uh, but yes, indeed. Uh, basically, uh, Representative Smith was talking about uh, the the constant barrage of slanted stories uh, that the media are using uh, to what his word savage President Trump's uh, immigration orders. Um, mm-hmm. He points out how they how the media have been twisting words, facts, and poll results to try and turn the public against him. And um, and he says, but it didn't work. The American people are smarter than the media thinks, and apparently that's the case because uh, uh, Quinnipiac um, uh, Rasmussen polls and um, and uh, a few others do indeed show that the majority of the American people uh, do support uh, the temporary. Um, uh, ban, uh, or at least the extreme vetting of people coming to the United States from uh, state sponsors of, of terror. That, that, you know, and that's really the key because it's not whether they come from Muslim countries. You know, the biggest Muslim country is uh, Indonesia, and that's not on the list. It's it's where there's been troubles with, as you say it, where the, the there's evidence that the the governments of those countries actually support terrorism is where he's trying to restrict. And uh, and it it really is pretty astounding uh, the efforts that uh, are made to spin this um, in, into um, into a uh, into the claims of a, a public uh, uh, overwhelming public uh, uh, disdain for for this order when in fact it isn't uh, it isn't true as the as the Rasmussen report shows however that uh, it is uh, ex- the country is extremely divided by um, uh, by political party, I believe it was 82 percent of uh, Republicans favor the ban. 71 um, percent of Democrats oppose it. Um, so, so the country is divided. There, independents, by a majority of independents, do favor the ban. Um, so, um, so you do see that it, it's very, very contentious. But there is a lot of misinformation being put out there by the media um, about uh, what the ban constitutes and uh, exactly uh, how how popular it is or isn't with the American people. Right, yeah, they, they, they definitely tried to do that. You know, just, just a, per chance, per chance that Barack Obama had done the exact same order one year ago, Craig, what do you think would be the percentage of Democrats in polls that would say they would support the exact same, uh, you know, declaration if it had been made by Obama instead of by Trump? Trump. 
Well, uh, I think we you have your answer from, uh, was it 2011? Uh, when um, Barack Obama did institute a six-month ban on um, people coming to the U.S. from Iraq. And you didn't hear much about that in the media, nor from the Democrats. Uh, And as uh, some of the media have tried to spin comparisons that, uh, well, this is completely different because Obama did it in private. Well, okay, so the most transparent, uh, the self-professed most transparent administration in history uh, got away with it because they didn't tell Americans about the ban. <laughs> doing something hidden is, is is okay, but doing it out in the public isn't, even if it's the exact same thing. Right. Uh, again, it, it is a, a fascinating uh, twist and leap of logic, uh, much like uh, conflating uh, illegal immigrants with uh, the people who actually went through the system uh, and applied to come to this country and did so in a court and had enough respect for our laws to um, abide by them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do, do you think, Craig, that something good may come out of this? This whole, you know, all these things that you're talking about, you know, where the media is just going to extra extreme. Uh, uh, measures trying to, you know, sabotage, let's say, the Trump administration. Uh, you know, I, l- last night I heard Piers Morgan, and he was on Fox, and he, he says, you know, politically I'm right with the Washington Post and CBS and NBC and, uh, you know, the, the New York Times. But he's, he's, he himself is appalled at how unprofessional they've been and how dishonest they've been in their reporting. And so do you, do you think something maybe good will actually come out of them just going so overboard on this stuff? Well, you know, when Piers Morgan is accusing someone on the left of being biased, <laughs> I, I think you really have to stand back and take pause. Um, at, as far as something good coming out of this, uh, it's, it's hard to say. Uh, trust in the media is apt or near all-time lows if you look at the polls. And as uh, Brent Bozell uh, declared uh, uh, prior to the election, uh, that the media has has seemingly abandoned uh, even the pretense of journalistic objectivity. Uh, You even have uh, Jorge Ramos from um, Univision coming out and rallying um, reporters calling on them to abandon objectivity and do everything they can to stop Trump. Uh, so I think it's, it, if there's good to come of this, it's that, um, you know, the game is up. As Lamar okay. Smith said, uh, the American people aren't falling for it. Uh, they're smarter than that. And uh, it's, it's becoming more and more obvious uh, to people who look at this uh, logically, uh, that the media is is trying to sell an agenda rather than report the news. Right, right. Well, we have to go into a hard break here, um, but uh, Craig, I really appreciate you coming on, and I'm on your site, mrctv.org, and I see a, a story that you have up there that really caught my uh, attention. I have to read it later, and it says, Donald Trump is adored in Kenya by NPR, so I've got, I got to see what that's about, but uh, thank you so much for coming on, and uh, also tell us, in addition to that site, what other sites uh, our listeners should go to to see your work. Uh, cnsnews.com. Fantastic. Thank you again, Craig. And uh, Always a pleasure. Time. Excellent. Uh, We're coming to you live from Conservative Commandos Radio Network Studios, WNJC 1360, our flagship station in Philadelphia, and around the world on the Internet with American Patriots Broadcasting, TalkStream Live, SHR Media, K98 Talk, iHeartRadio, and AM FM 24-7. Yeah. 
This is Rick Trader, host of the Conservative Commandos Radio Show. And I'm John Forsyth, owner of WNJC Radio. Fellow patriots, the Conservative Commandos Radio Show is for conservatives, about conservatives, and by conservatives. We are patriots who want to take our country back from the likes of Barack Obama, Harry Reid, George Soros, and Nancy Pelosi. But we can't keep up this fight without your critical support today. Can you help? Please go to www.helpccrs.com right now and make a donation by credit card or PayPal. That's www.helpccrs.com. Our goal is to expose the liberal agenda and distortions. We are fighting to spread the truth about political issues, political leaders, and conservative issues and values. Our hosts are not paid. In fact, we buy our own airtime studio time and pay our own expenses we created the show because we are trying to make a difference so can you help the ccrs expose the truth in 2014 and beyond go to www.helpccrs.com help keep the conservative commandos radio show on the air by going to www.helpccrs.com and make a donation today to return our country to the conservative roots created by our founding fathers. If your health care has become a burden and you're worried about being stuck for another year, you have options. Liberty Health Share could be the solution to your problem. Open enrollment is here and could be your chance to free yourself from insurance. Take this opportunity and join Liberty Health Share. You can finally be in control and have freedom when it comes to your health care. Liberty Health Share offers an entirely open network, which means you choose your doctors and you choose your hospitals. Liberty Health Share offers freedom from insurance, meaning no tax related penalties. To find out how you can easily make the change, call Liberty Health Share today at 855 585 4237. That's 855 585 4237. Or visit their website at libertyhealthshare.org. That's libertyhealthshare.org. What does it take to be the leader in production systems technology? To be the one company that solves production problems at any plant, for any product, and with any technology? It takes a 30-year record of success. It takes total mastery of complex technologies with a history of delivering success every time without fail. Only one company can claim that high ground in manufacturing line optimization, data automation, and systems integration, and that's Philadelphia Control Systems. In factories worldwide, Philadelphia Control Systems programs, software, and engineering solutions deliver optimal performance and output flow with a record that can't be matched. Any plant, any product, any technology. Philadelphia Control Systems, the leader in production automation since 1982. 800-335-9811. PCSforAutomation.com. That's PCS, the number four, automation.com. The Conservative Commandos Radio Show is the commander of the Conservative Commandos Radio Network. We've established a front line of conservative leaders and ironclad patriots to revive the promise of America. There must be some kind of way out of here. We patriots have succeeded in securing the next four years of American prosperity, sovereignty, and liberty under President Donald Trump. But the fight is never over, and we must be forever vigilant. Do you have a passion for American values? Do you believe in preserving the American dream? If so, listen to the Conservative Commandos Radio Network, Monday through Saturday from 12 to 6 p.m. on WNJC Radio, 1360 a.m. or around the world on the Internet at ccrshow.com and ccrsnetwork.com. Check out our websites for rebroadcasts and network updates. We are the Conservative Commandos Radio Network, where even more newsmakers go to be heard. From the East Coast to the West Coast and around the world on the Internet. 
We're coming to you live from the CCRS studios. WNJC 1360. This is the Conservative Commandos Radio Show with your host, Rick Trader. The Conservative Commandos Radio Show, where the newsmakers go to be heard. You can call the Conservative Commandos Radio Show at 856-227-1360. Your opinion counts at 856-227-1360. This is Congressman Alan West, and you're listening to the Conservative Commando Radio Show. If you'd like to hear rebroadcasts of today's show, please check out our website, CCRS network.com and ccrshow.com or at 8 a.m. you can log on to Leading Edge Radio Network or at 11 p.m. you can log on to High Plains Talk Radio.com and you can listen, listen to us on the phone at any time by calling 832-999-1199. I'm very pleased to have with us today Jeff Dunnans and he is the editor and publisher of The Lid. It's a, a weekly political column and he also uh, writes for the Jewish Star and Truth Revolt and he has contributed to Breitbart's, Breitbart.com, Hot Air, and PJ, Pajamas Media, Media's Tattler. And Jeff is also a blogger for MCRTV.org. And he's a co-host of Fermenting Freedom on SHR Media. Welcome back to the Conservative Commandos, Jeff. Thanks, Rick. Just one, one correction. Okay. Um, I actually write for my own site three or four times a day. Ah, okay. Not one Good. Uh, and, and this is actually Dana Allen. The head honcho is Rick Trader. He's here also. And um, before we get into global warming, which uh, I see you have an excellent article out on that, Jeff, um, uh, you, one of your sites is Truth Revolt. And actually, I Well, I used website. to work for Truth Revolt. Not anymore, but yeah. Gotcha. I actually had but, that website. I, um, <laughs> I guess great minds think alike. And I held that domain for a while, and then I gave it up. So uh, um, I yeah, always actually, get a kick whenever I read anything on Truth Revolt. Right. So uh, um, It's really my writing you can find at thelid.com. Got you. Lidblog.com. Cool. Good. Every you know, day. Um, a topic that's really fascinating is whether there's scientific corruption going on on the, the issue of global warming, you know, whether it's man-made or, or it's just natural. And you've get written an article about the NOAA actually fudging the climate data. How would they go about doing that? Um, basically, they, they were using corrupted data. Um, and some data came from the buoys. You know, in the sea, they have buoys floating with, with uh, thermometers, basically. And mm -hmm. uh, some came from other places. And the one, the, the stuff they got from ships, which is the other stuff, they knew was corrupt, and they used that. And they did the same thing with data that they had from the land, that it was corrupt. And they put it together using a computer program that two and a half y years later, it still hasn't been approved for use. Wow. You know, is, is, is this the corrupt data, is it a matter that uh, they... Um, uh, you know, are doing it on purpose, you know, they're crossing yes. the data, or are they rolling the dice? In other words, they're just doing this sloppily, and it well, might make global warming look, you know, better or worse, or do you think they're, they're, this is skewed corrupt data? They were told to come up with something that refuted the, the, the pause. Uh, the pause yep. is yep. the fact that there has been no global warming since uh, 1998. 98? Yes. Yeah, 98. Um, and actually, using corrupt data is something that they, use, they do a lot. Like, for example, you know that study that said 97% of scientists um, agree about global warming? I, I've only heard that repeated by politicians about 10,000 times. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, that, that study is bogus, too. In actuality, 97% of the scientists had no opinion at about 0.006% thought that um, it, that global warming was uh, man-made. Wow. So they do that a lot because it's this, it's almost like a cult. You know, you ever mm -hmm. watch stories about the religious cults where you have to believe the leader, whether they're right or wrong? 
You know, they, yes. it's, it's just as bad as that. And if you, if you disagree with this cult, this fake religion, then um, they'll go after you. And in Nick's case, basically, the guy who became the whistleblower was the mm-hmm. scientist at NOAA who wrote all the procedures in terms of making sure that every, they're only using good data and as, and they ignored everything and as soon as he retired he said this is ridiculous and he, wow. he basically he t- told the truth the reason why they wanted to disagree or, or to get rid of that gap now now that, that gap when you think of it think of that pause the fact that it hasn't warmed in 18 years kind of puts a dent in that theory <laughs> you know, you know, yeah, uh, it definitely does. You yeah. know, on, on that, you know, I've looked into this a great deal myself, and um, you know, for most of human history, you know, recorded human history, the last six thousand years, the temperature has been warmer than it is today, and yet they claim that 2015 and 2016 are the you know the warmest years ever. You know. Uh, from what you know, Jeff, uh, was 2015 and 16 the warmest years ever? Well, that's if you use the Earth's data, and it's too, uh, warmest since they've been collecting information. If you use the satellite data, which you understand some, the satellite data was started to be used because the global warming scientists thought that it was better data. So they started mm-hmm. to use it until it started showing a pause, and then they said, "No, we don't like that stuff." So, <laughs> but you it, know, yeah. Now, there's, there's also you know, I think it, I, I've heard that they they've actually like done things like literally changed the data. You know, like in Cincinnati in 1934, let's say the temperature was 95 degrees, that they've actually gone in and changed it to like 91 degrees to try to make temperatures today look higher. Have you heard Yeah, they do that a lot. That? The other thing is, is that um, about 12,000 years ago, the mm-hmm. CO2 levels were about 20 times what they are now. How many years And ago? the Earth didn't fall into some, you know, the world didn't end. At least I yeah. don't think so. I mean, I started my car this morning. <laughs> Did you say just 20,000 years ago? Just 20,000 years ago. Wow, you know, okay. I'm a geologist. I have a degree in geology, and I know that, you know, 100, 200 million years ago, CO2 levels were definitely higher. I didn't know it had been that recent that uh, that the CO2 levels have been that high. That That just Absolutely. totally, basically, that torpedoes their whole premise. Well, that's why they don't talk about it a lot. And, and you talk about when it was warmer? You know, the the, um, the the medieval warning period is something they don't like to talk about. You know, and that, something else... The, I guess it was that, in uh, London, they had a street called, uh, 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 what was it, Vin- Vineyard or something like that, because they used to grow grapes in London? That was, uh, that I don't know. Um, yeah, but, yeah they, they actually did. It was during the medieval warming period, it was so warm they are growing grapes in England. Well, then there was the Little Ice Age... Which, Mm -hmm. here's the other part they don't tell you. Apparently, more than tracking with man, when there's a lot of sunspot activity, Earth's temperatures tend to get warmer. Yep. And when there's not a lot of sunspot activity, it tends to get cooler. And we're about to go into a period where there's not going to be a lot of sunspot activity. Okay, so, so we should probably get it. I, we, we, we have to talk to you more about this. I have to go into break right now, Jeff, but when we come out, I'd like to hear much more about that. Sure. Uh, we are coming to you uh, live from Conservative Commandos Radio Network Studios, WNJC 1360, our flagship station in Philadelphia, and around the world on the Internet with American Patriots Broadcasting, Talk Stream Live, SHR Media, K98 Talk, iHeart Radio, and AM FM 24-7. Yeah. 
The Conservative Commandos Radio Show is the commander of the Conservative Commandos Radio Network. We've established a front line of conservative leaders and ironclad patriots to revive the promise of America. There must be some kind of way out of here. We patriots have succeeded in securing the next four years of American prosperity, sovereignty, and liberty under President Donald Trump. But the fight is never over, and we must be forever vigilant. Do you have a passion for American values? Do you believe in preserving the American dream? If so, listen to the Conservative Commandos Radio Network Monday through Saturday from 12 to 6 p.m. on WNJC Radio, 1360 a.m. or around the world on the Internet at ccrshow.com and ccrsnetwork.com. Check out our websites for rebroadcasts and network updates. We are the Conservative Commandos Radio Network, where even more newsmakers go to be heard. Hi, I'm Kevin Wade. Conservative Commandos is happy to welcome Liberty HealthShare as a sponsor. Liberty HealthShare is a community of health-conscious Americans who practice long-standing Christian principles in sharing health care costs. Liberty HealthShare exists for everyone who purchases health care for themselves or their family or who wants to control their own health care. I run a small business, and we were caught in the confusion of Washington's ever-changing health insurance requirements. We found a common-sense solution in Liberty HealthShare. Liberty HealthShare is not insurance. It simply unites like-minded Americans to share medical costs together. Join a community of health-conscious Americans who practice long-standing Christian principles in sharing health care costs. That's Liberty HealthShare. To find out how you can easily make the change, call Liberty HealthShare today at 855-585-4237. That's 855-585-4237. Or visit their website at libertyhealthshare.org. This is Pastor Christina Lamineer, chaplain for the Indiana Republican Assembly. And I'm her husband, J.D. Muneer. We won the election, but we must now install President Trump's nominees. We urge you to call the Capitol Switchboard at 202-225-3121 and ask your senators to do their job. They need to confirm Judge Neil Gorsuch and remaining cabinet members. We the people never want to see another Berkeley. The First Amendment doesn't give you the right to commit acts of violence. It pains us to watch anarchy unfold on college campuses, bus stops, and coffee shops. Thomas Jefferson said, All tyranny needs to gain a foothold is for people of good conscience to remain silent. Let us join in unity to pray for America. Once again, the number to call is 202-225-3121. You can call the Conservative Commandos Radio Show at 856-227-1360. Your opinion counts at 856-227-1360. This is Thomas from Allen West, and you're listening to the Conservative Commando Radio Show. If you'd like to hear rebroadcast today's show, please check out our website, ccrsnetwork.com and ccrshow.com, or at 8 a.m., log on to Leading Edge Radio Network, or at 11 p.m., log on to highplainstalkradio.com. And you can listen to us at any time on your phone by calling 832-999-1199. We're with uh, Jeff Dunnes on, on talking about global warming. And, Jeff, your article has so much great information in it. You know, oh, 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 I, I see let, let me just thing. start with... A general oh, thing, and you as a geologist will be able to appreciate yeah. this. If anything, anybody ever tells you something is settled science, start walking away and check your wallet. <laughs> there is no such thing as settled science. Am I correct? More, more or less correct. I, I'd say that the, the Earth is, is a globe today, and it's been settled that it's not flat. But about 500 years ago, the, the consensus was is that the Earth was flat, and if you sailed too far, you'd go off the edge. And, you know, people that, you know, said anything to the contrary were considered heretics. So, yes, I do and, agree with your premise. And also, um, the, the Flat Earth Society, the president yes. believes that global warming is man-made. 
Are you, are you serious? I, I'm not joking. God's honest truth. I wrote about it. <laughs> Absolutely. Wait, wait, now, is this on the lid? Is that where people can see it? Uh, on lidblog.com. Yeah, I wrote about that. Because <laughs> I, I actually use that every time I hear John Kerry or, uh, pre or former, thank God, President Obama say that, you know, well, if you don't believe in global warming, you're a flat earther. No, actually, if you believe in global warming. And actually, the Jeff, if you can send me a link to that, I have to read that. Or, you know, can I, I just search I, I, on I your name and maybe will. find it? Yeah, I, I will find it. But the other Fantastic. thing is... Fantastic. That, that's good. Well, you know, it seems like, you know, I'm reading in, in your report here, and it mentions that it sounds like the NOAA is actually said that they're going to throw out the sea data that, that is so corrupt. And the and land they, data. They're, going to, they're redoing the whole thing. Wow. And then we're, we're spending, you know, billions and tens of billions of dollars fighting something in which the, the data that supposedly supports it is so corrupt they're going to have to redo it. Did they actually Well, not only that, that, the reason why they did it is they wanted to have it out just before the Paris, um, big Paris climate um, um, conference where wow. you know, all the world leaders went to say that, um, you know, we're not going to pollute anymore, so we've right. got to screw up our industry. Right. Now, That's now, why. Yeah, this, this thing was all rushed. And, and In fact, um, where, where should people go to read this particular article? Um, it's actually on the... It, 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 since I wrote... Since I posted it, I believe, yesterday, it's on the cover page. So if you go to lidblog.com, you will see see it right there. Excellent, excellent. Now, who said, you know, one thing's in this is that I, I see it said that uh, um, uh, that the data used was unreliable, uh, used unreliable methods that overstated the speed of warming. Is that NOAA that actually said that? That's the guy who used to work for the NOAA and retired. The whistleblower. And, and that, that's just Dr. Bates. Dr. Bates, right. Yeah, he sounds like a very brave guy. He doesn't have a motel. You know, um, this, this is just, you know, like you said. And if you go said, on, and a, here's another, you know, basic science. I mean, let me tell you something. I took college geology yeah. and college bio, and that's as far as I went, okay? Mm -hmm. But I do know that for something to be scientifically valid, the experiment has to be able to be reproduced. Am I correct? Absolutely. Okay. Well, they somehow lost all the data that the computer generated, so they can't even reproduce the findings. <laughs> it, it, it is a religious cult, uh, and uh, you know, you know, going back to that the it used to be it wasn't a full blown religious cult, but it was it was misinformation. So when I went through geology school, um, they were pushing the opposite. Right? And it, when I took college geology, they said we were about to go into an ice age. Uh, absolutely. And Time Magazine, Newsweek had articles saying we're going. this is the next ice age. And they said it was due to carbon pollution. And so there's this one guy uh, from NASA. And, and who's Al Gore's number one guy from NASA that he's used through the years? Yes, with an H, Hansen. And close. That's not quite it, but we're talking about the same Hansen. Hansen was the guy's name, yeah, right? And, and he got caught fudging data a couple of times also. Oh, yeah. And in 1971, on the front page of the Washington Post, he wrote an article with another guy. He says, my computer models show without a doubt that we have to immediately shut down carbon pollution because if we don't, it'll be too late. In two to three years, we're going to go into an ice age due to carbon pollution. <laughs> ice age. Well, there yeah. are a lot of scientists now saying that we are going to go into a mini ice age, not because of CO2, but because of, as I mentioned before, the sunspot activity, because we're going mm -hmm. into a, an extremely low period of sunspot activity. Yeah, that, okay. that's right. So yeah. if, if you bought all those snorkels because... Al Gore said you're going to be underwater. Forget it. It's, it's a Jewish mother sweater alert. Okay? It's going to get cold. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and yep. this, 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 this is what bothers me more than anything. Because, like I said, you know, I, I happen to be a very observant person. And to me, the only thing that is 
is solid science or, or is solid that I don't have to question is is the, the Torah to me, okay? But everything else made by man, you got to ask questions about. And if anybody tells you, stop thinking because it's all settled, yeah, it's baloney. The, 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 the history of science is that, is that almost all science is thrown out through the years. And uh, I, I was involved with one of them. Is, is the shift to global warm? I mean, not global warming. The shift to continental drift. And, and I truly believe that's true. The evidence is wonderful. But for centuries before that occurred, they were teaching silly things about how, you know, trying to explain away why you know fossils were the way they were in different continents and all those types of things. And you know, so I saw that happen. And the last holdouts on that were people like the chairman of the geology department at Harvard were the last holdouts onto the old discredited theories which are now you know totally thrown away you know uh, we've we have uh, the master here is rick trader and uh, he's i've been resting his voice a little bit but i'd like to bring rick back in and sure. uh, Hi, rick. let him wrap the show up hey jeff great to have you with us uh, jeff please remind our listeners once again where they can read your stuff and how they can hear your radio show lidblog.com l-i-d-b-l-o-g dot com and my radio show is every Wednesday at 2 p.m. actually I just got off 2 to 3 p.m. Um, on the SHR Media Network or um, the, the actually you can go to my site and listen to it by the way I get your stuff every day I enjoy it it's great to have you on again Jeff we, we need to make it more often and, and I, I'm assuming I will see you in two weeks at uh, CPAC yeah, we will be there. You will be there, too, right? I wouldn't miss it for the world. That'd be great. Cool. Jeff, thank, thank you so much for joining us on the Conservative Commandos Radio Show. Take care. God bless. You too, man. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Dana, I want to thank you for sitting in today as my co-host, and uh, thank you for carrying the yeoman share of the show today. It's definitely helping me and my voice and uh, hopefully by a month I'll be back, to, back in shape but uh, uh, again I want to thank you and by the way I want to remind our audience once again if you'd like to report illegal aliens please call Immigration and Customs Enforcement at 1-866-347-2423 you'll need to know Names, locations, either work or place of business or at the residence, and any other specific information you could provide. Again, the number is one eight six six three four seven two four two three, or visit ICE's website. It's www.ice.gov. And Dana, this is a way for we the people to bypass these radical liberal judges who want to, instead of following our Constitution, they want to make their own laws up to support and protect their political left. Yep, that's, that's right. We, our, our judicial system has been very corrupted on the very topic you're talking about. All right. And I want to thank Dana. I want to thank you for sitting in today as my co-host. I want to thank Mr. John Forsyth, Jr. for working the boards. But for right now, we got to run. we got to go. Take care, God bless, and we'll see you tomorrow on the radio. 1360 AM, WNJC, Washington Township, Philadelphia. Hi, I'm Kevin Wade. Conservative Commandos is happy to welcome Liberty HealthShare as a sponsor. Liberty HealthShare is a community of health-conscious Americans who practice long-standing Christian principles in sharing health care costs. Liberty HealthShare exists for everyone who purchases health care for themselves or their family or who wants to control their own health care. I run a small business and we were caught in the confusion of Washington's ever-changing health insurance requirements. We found a common sense solution in Liberty HealthShare. Liberty HealthShare is not insurance. It simply unites like-minded Americans to share medical costs together. Join a community of health-conscious Americans who practice long-standing Christian principles in sharing health care costs. That's Liberty HealthShare. To find out how you can easily make the change, call Liberty HealthShare today at 855-585-4237. That's 855-585-4237. Or visit their website at libertyhealthshare.org.